Let's talk about how to pass the interview for Enterprise rent car What's up guys, it's Mike from Jobred English here with another Pass the Interview video. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and drop us a comment down below to let us know what video you'd like us to make next. In the Pass the Interview video series, we cover five fast facts for the company, the interview process you can expect, the most common questions that you can expect to be asked, which we've researched from publicly available sources. And we talk about how to think about answering those questions, what to include, what not to include, and lots of helpful things for you to put together the right answers. And if you want a helpful pack to help you pass the Enterprise Rent-A-Car video, check out the pack down in the description below. You can also check out our free handout for the 28 most common interview questions and check out our store, which is jam-packed with courses, assets, templates, all at a really affordable price to help you pass your next interview. Without further ado, let's jump into five fast facts for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Fact number one, Enterprise was founded in 1957. I always love the story about how Enterprise was founded by a former Navy officer who essentially, um, if I can remember correctly, he basically bought five cars and said people would rent cars who couldn't afford to buy them and everyone just thought he was mad. <laughs> and then he built Enterprise Rent-A-Car into one of the biggest companies, rental companies in the world. Fact number two, the founder Jack Taylor named the company after the World War II aircraft carrier that he served on. Fact number three, Enterprise now has more than nine and a half thousand branches around the world. Fact number four, Enterprise prizes itself on being a family owned global network. Fact number five, Enterprise received an award for best in the business environmental program back in 2019. Remember, you can use those fast facts plus your own when answering the question, why do you want to work for Enterprise Rent-A-Car? So let's talk about the Enterprise interview and application format. There were four stages which candidates tended to identify. It took about two months to complete the whole stage. After an online application, you'll be asked to complete a phone call with some competency questions, which was about 10 minutes. You then have to do a video interview, which is about 30 minutes long. The next stage is where you actually visit a branch and interview with an area manager. They talk to you about the eight core values that Enterprise holds. And the last stage is an assessment centre at the regional head office, which includes group activities and a final interview with a city manager. We're going to be concentrating on the, in the interviews. We're going to be talking about the eight most common questions that we came across, which seem to really feature heavily for Enterprise's interviews and talk about how you want to think about answering those questions. So let's jump into those eight questions. Question number one, why enterprise? So just like I did there with telling you um, that little story about Jack Taylor, just like I did there telling you that story about Jack Taylor, enterprise is really quite a fascinating company, um, how it's grown. There are lots of facts out there. You can learn it from the website, the About Us page, history, annual reports, just general business news. Um, one thing you really wanna think about when talking about why you wanna work this company is make sure that the facts are specific to the company, that they're interesting and interesting to you, and also what your opinion is about it, or why does this move you? Why does this motivate you to work for this company? I know that sometimes candidates kind of struggle with this. They're like, oh, I'm not really bothered, but you wanna be bothered. Look, imagine if this was your company, if someone was coming to work for, you in your house, for example, you want to know that they're really motivated to be there. If they didn't seem that motivated, then you probably wouldn't want them in the house. Uh, you don't want a negative Nelly work. And exactly the same goes for this. We want people around us who are sort of motivated, ambitious, energetic, and confident, and we can feed off their energy. Question number two, why this role? So this is a two part. So first of all, when talking about why this role, what are you going to do at Enterprise? Are you going to be a store manager, an area manager, are you gonna work in corporate? What is it that you're going to be doing? Explain to me what you'd be expected to do on a daily basis. Look, if somebody goes into McDonald's and asks for a job, one of the first things that a manager's gonna say is like, what do you think you're gonna do here? They'll be like, oh, well, actually, I think I'm just gonna uh, you know, sit around and play on my iPad and you know, maybe take an order or two. It's like, yeah, I don't think this job is for you. One of the most important things that employers are looking for is for candidates to really understand what they're going to be doing. And the best way to think about this simply is just what would a typical day look like in the job? And the second part of this question is you picking out the important skills, whether they be soft skills like communication, interpersonal leadership skills, and those types of things, behavioral skills, 
that you think are important and how you can demonstrate those, whether that be from work experience, from extracurricular activities, from volunteering, from clubs and societies, or just from school, and how you can demonstrate that you have those roles. For example, if you're working as a branch manager in enterprise, you need to be pretty good with people. So you're gonna be dealing with customers, dealing with staff, dealing with complaints, dealing with kind of weird and wonderful things that people are looking for. You're gonna to need to be pretty good with dealing with people and also with resolving conflict in some form or fashion and developing or having some good level of client service. Otherwise, it's a job that you're really going to struggle with. Also, do you need any hard skills for the role? For example, do you need a particular qualification? Do you need to speak a certain language? Do you need to code? Do you have those skills? Is that something that they've identified in their job description? They're really looking for candidates to have. Question three, why do you think you would be a good fit for enterprise? So enterprise has got a really good reputation as a family run business and also for retaining staff. Something you really want to think about is tie back into enterprise's eight core values, which they, you know, we already saw in the interview process. And really think about the language that they're using. Um, they're looking to develop leaders, they're looking for people to develop in the company to move from like a branch manager to an area manager to a country manager and so on and so forth. And also what is it that really interests you about doing this job? Is it about serving people? Is it about being part of the rentals industry? Um, really think about what makes you a good fit. Maybe you're just great with people and you really love a sales environment. Maybe you're ambitious and want to have experience at a world-class company. Whatever it is, you know, have a think about it and really try to um, develop out that process into a compelling answer. Question four, where do you see yourself in five years? Here. The answer is always at this company, depending upon the, the, the structure of the company itself, you might say, I'd hope to be an area manager, I'd hope to be managing a couple of branches, and I'd still want to be learning and growing at Enterprise. Anytime you get answered, where do you see yourself in five years? It's always here. Question five, what are your strengths and weaknesses? So as we've spoken about before in other past interview videos, they ask for your strengths and weaknesses. I generally tend to say, pick one strength, one weakness. Unless you know that you're gonna be given more than two minutes to answer. So this is quite a lot to say in two minutes a lot of candidates will just run out of time so they'll kind of talk about five strengths that they have and they go oh my god uh, my biggest weakness is that i can't say no or something like like that so when you're answering this question um think about what's a good strength for the job and give me some proof give me an example or time uh, that you did that thing and when you're thinking about weakness don't think about something that's necessarily false but think about something that is, in a sense, compelling, is teachable as well. So it could be organisation, time management, missing a deadline, just something that actually at the time provided you with a really good learning experience, thinking, well, I need to be better. I need to put a system or process into place that's going to help me you know, do this more effectively. Um, but don't try and think of a weakness that's not a weakness. It's not really a tact that I particularly like to use over the years. I think if you're honest and open, it tends to be more compelling. It tends to make for a better story and a better answer. Question number six, tell us about a time when you demonstrated teamwork. Teamwork's absolutely crucial at Enterprise, as the same with a lot of other companies, um, mainly because uh, I don't know if you've ever rented a car, been in a car rental, it's really busy, right? So you get people who pile off of an airplane. Um, I'm talking about an airport, obviously there are other offices uh, and places where people rent cars, but. People come to rent a car are generally like they're short on time, they're a little bit crabby, uh, particularly if they've just got off a really long flight. And they want somebody who is you know, bright, sunny, who's gonna be able to give them a good level of service, who's really gonna be able to help them when they won't really be able to help themselves. And you want somebody in a team who's gonna be able to help out, for example, if you're short star. Just being, you know, ultimately what makes a good team member, someone who's just super helpful. Someone who's available, who's helpful, who's willing to go the extra mile, who's kind of really knows that what makes up the frame of a team is their attitude and their application towards their work. Question seven, what do you know about our company? So this is very similar to why this company, and it'd be the same thing. If you had those five or six fast facts, it would be unlikely that you get this question twice, but you might get it the same over two interviews. And again, just having those list of facts and thinking about why this is compelling and meaningful to you. Question number eight, tell us about a time that you showed good leadership. Um, enterprise, particularly for graduates, is gonna be looking for leaders. They're gonna be looking for managers, 
they're going to be looking for people who are going to be able to um, drive towards targets, hire people, fire them, uh, manage a team. And a lot of times, particularly for graduates, you may be managing somebody who's twice your age. And that can often be quite a challenging thing for young people because they feel inexperienced and incapable. And a lot of time, what makes a good leader is really just organisation. Um, why are leaders good leaders? Because they kind of know where we're going. When you think about the captain of a ship or um, the pilot on a plane, why do we have confidence in them? Well, because I don't know where we're going. Like, I can't fly a plane to Turkey. Um, I just am assuming that you know what you're doing because you're flying the plane and that's what gives us that level of confidence. And a lot of times in, in my experience of, of leadership and also fostering leadership, you give people that sense of autonomy and responsibility and some structure that they can work to. And sometimes that involves additional work, that involves you being able to kind of um, put the extra time in. So it might be you come in a bit earlier, you leave a little bit later, but you're able to turn up at work or whatever you're doing the next day and actually you're the most organized person there. And that helps you to really be able to lead others because often people want to be led. People want someone to say like, oh, you go here, you go there, you do this, you do that. And they're like, okay, that sounds cool. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video for Enterprise. I wish you the best of luck with your upcoming interview. Don't forget, if you want this research note, uh, which, which has got more questions, the past the interview pack has also got a 60 minute prep course, a free interview video masterclass, and two uh, digital assets, which are scripts, uh, templates, and like a how-to guide for writing for motivational competency questions, loads and loads of sample answers. Check it out in the description below. I will see you next time. Bye.